So the challenge is, can you write a joke using the word time in just 10 minutes? Well, we're running out of time already. So let's get into it, my friends. Here you're going to learn not only how to write a joke, but the creative process around creating ideas and transforming them into jokes. Now, the name of the game is Numbers. The more you write, the more jokes you're going to have. But I've interviewed over 400 comedians on this channel and people across the board have said you'll write 20 jokes and keep one of them most of the time. So just know they're not all going to be all. But for today's exercise, the word of the day is time. And now we're going to hang out and write a joke together. Write along with me, comment in the comments if you have some joke ideas as well using the word time or based on what I'm writing here. But in the meantime, in between time, here we go, my friends. Boom. So the word time. So what comes to mind when you think of time? That's always a good place to start when writing is what, what comes to mind when I hear this word or this phrase or this experience or this story that I have. So for me, time, you know, I think of clock. You can associate words, phrases, um, yeah, experiences, just whatever comes to mind first off when you think of time. Time, I think of clock, alarm, uh, being late. Some common uh, idioms could be, you know, running out of time, running out of time. And we're not trying to be funny right now. We're literally just trying to brainstorm around what comes up when I think of time. I see here Zach said aging. Yeah, aging is one for sure. Yeah. Running out of time. Running out of time on a time crunch is another one. Um, oh yeah, Sasha, Sashka said military time, synchronization. Hands, faces on a clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a clock has hands, which is interesting and funny in itself. A uh, grandfather clock. Um, late, you know, late. Um, I don't know. Irish exit. Isn't that a thing? Timetable. Yeah, point in time. Time limit. Yeah. So see, you're getting it. And these comments are coming in during our live stream. We live stream this every single Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So do hit that subscribe button and come on back next Wednesday. Um, and hit the notification bell because then that'll tell you when uh, we are actually live. We do three live streams a week on here. So time crisis, one moment in time, time after time, punctuality, time and a half. Yeah, yeah, time out. Oh yeah, time out is a good one. Um, what else do you think of time? Um, time, Pink Floyd? Wasn't there a Pink Floyd song called Time? Times Square. Oh, that's a good one there, Olga. All the way from Russia. Um, sorry, my ADD. Um, running out of time. So what would be running out of time? Um, time to have a baby. I mean, a phrase, it's time. Oh, sorry. I was trying to make it more in focus. I made it out of focus. Um, so, all right. So how can I relate this to myself? Time of the month, overtime, time and a half, crunch time. Yeah, yeah a lot of good ones coming in here. So overtime, time and a half, um, time crunch. So now that we have some ideas brainstormed, what you want to do, like, is 
figure out, one, listen to your sense of humor here. So what in your sense of humor is sticking out to you the most as a potential for a joke? So it's a sense of humor for a reason. Follow that sixth sense. So for this one, uh, I have clock, alarm clock, being late, um, time and a half, time out, grandfather clock, um, time of day, time of the month. Time to have a baby. That's something, you know, I'm being in your 30s, people say and such. Um, running out of time. Time crunch. I feel like there's a way to um, connect this to me maybe feeling like I'm running out of time being 34. Um, but there's something to, I think, the phrase running out of time that I can play around with. So running out of time... That generally means that um, you're low on time. So now I'm just trying to figure out how I can flip it. You know, in a in a joke, the formula is set up punchline. So you're setting up the audience to think in one direction, and a punchline creates a surprising second direction. So right now I'm figuring out what is that first direction. So right now running out of time uh, people are gonna think I'm low on time maybe I'm impatient um, that could also be anxiety um, so for example with anxiety like something that just popped in my head is um, my doctor says exercising helps with anxiety but I'm running out of time. Um, so you see, we're, st we're getting there. But um, running out of time. So now, so now your job as a comedian, the comedic effect, is to flip it. So right now it's running out of time. So the audience is thinking, you know, oh, I'm running out of time. I'm impatient. I don't have a lot of time left. I'm on a time crunch. Um, I keep a tight schedule. But really running out of time could be like physically running. So let's just say, for example, physically running out of time. So what would that look like? Physically running out of time as opposed to metaphorically, which is the common phrase. Physically running, you know, maybe you're on a track team. Uh, maybe you're in a marathon. Maybe you're running from police. Okay, that's a funny twist there. So maybe running out of time, something with jail is uh, time, serving time. Running out of serving time. So maybe there's something with, um, you know, I mean, this is just silly right now. Fleeing from police is running out of serving time. Okay. Hey, we're, we're getting there. We're honing it in here. You know, it's all, it's all a process. But we're getting on the right track here. Um, fleeing from police, running out of time. Um, maybe I always ran out of time. So ran out of time. Ran out of time. Where would you run out of time? Um, so maybe if there was like, um, if there was like a marathon with time limit. Okay, so here we go. I tried, and maybe it's not a marathon, but um, I tried to finish the marathon within five hour time limit, but I ran out of time. So now you're starting to see it coming into like, um, oh, ran out of time on a test. That's interesting, or Alan. Or ran out of time, Time Magazine. I see Joyce put Time Magazine in there.
Um, uh, I tried to finish the marathon within five hours. Time limit, but I ran out of time. I almost like the Time Magazine. Maybe I ran out of Time Magazines. Um, um, maybe it's my favorite magazine is no longer in print. Ran out. Okay, how about this? Um, I mean, Target said they no long. Target said they no longer carry my favorite magazine. They ran out of time. So something with the wording. Try to finish the marathon. Or how about this? I tried to beat my wife's marathon running time, but ran out of time. So how about I tried to beat, oh, and we're at the buzzer here. We're at the buzzer. So I tried to beat the world record. What would be running? Like the marathon world record, but ran out of time okay so it's not the best joke ever but you see the process you see i just realized how shaky that camera is um but you see the process here for for like writing a joke it's basically if you're trying to do it just off a random experience you have or just a random word like we do here every single wednesday where we get a random word and write jokes using that word just as a writing exercise basically you associate you brainstorm all the different connections all the different things you think of positive or negative doesn't even have to be funny you're just getting a bunch of ideas out on paper first and then you pick the one that is standing out to you the most in your sixth sense of what is maybe the best potential for a joke because i saw running out of time that felt like a clear way that I'd be able to flip the misdirect there, as we talked about earlier in this video, about you creating that misdirect in your jokes. So, for this one, I tried to beat the marathon world record, but I ran out of time. So, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing this one on stage anytime soon, but for the sake of a joke, this one's like a funny like wordplay joke. You're basically like, reinterpreting the phrase ran out of time so you know it's just it's a nice little silly joke but you know for a little 10 minute exercise this is always a great way to just get the juices flowing but just understand that you're gonna write 20 jokes and end up keeping one of them so this is just one of the many jokes you could write using the word time but do comment with yours and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you can get alerted when we do this live stream every single Wednesday at 10 a.m. But until then, it's time to write. <laughs> All right. Uh, subscribe.